hi guys good day and welcome back to my channel i'm olu atsosin and this is so Stussing. if you are new here you're welcome and to all my returning subscribers you're also welcome guys thank you so much for all the love shown towards my channel so far thanks for subscribing thanks for finding my channel worthy to subscribe to thanks for the comments thanks for liking my videos i greatly appreciate it and i don't take it for granted and if it happens that you are seeing my channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe and don't just subscribe turn on notification bell so you get notified when next i upload new video on this channel so guys without talking too much in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful and adorable ball dress so from the picture we are going to see that the back of this particular dress is smoked but hers is going to have zip at the back that's just the difference so let's just jump right into it so we'll be using this beautiful ankara print lining strong net and we'll be using this net to we'll be cutting out our trim mix from this particular net so moving ahead we we are going to start by cutting the half length and we need measurement like full length bust waist Half, uh, half length shoulder and arm hole so this person's bust is 24 i measured 24 inches i had a 10 inches allowance the 10 inches includes zip allowance cutting and sewing allowance so i folded that into four leaving my zip allowance at the back the next i'll be doing is i have to measure the half length and i'm just going to make two invisible if you check the style very well you'll see that the shoulder like just check the style you'll see what i'm saying like the shoulder is not really starting from the shoulder so that's why i put that two up and i'll go ahead to cut that out half length is 11 i measured 11 i added one one inch so in allowance so the next is I'll, I'll be measuring our back which is 10 divided by 2 gives me 5 after back i'll be measuring a ham hole i'm using ham hole is actually 12 but i'll be using 11 at this point so i put my two inches up then i, I marked five and a half then i go ahead to connect my point together our bust is 24 divided by divided by four gives me six plus one and a half inch sewing allowance our waist is 23 divided by four gives me five and a half and quarter plus one and a half inch sewing allowance so i'll connect those points together the next is i want to measure the shoulder in this case i'll be using two so i marked my two and then from that point where the two stops i'll just whatever is remaining is the neckline because the neck of this particular dress is a little bit white is is a little bit wider than normal um baby neckline so i just put my two up and then i used five for the neck depth so moving ahead um and the, the front neck and the back neck they are not the same the back is a little bit wide and um, deeper than the front so i'm just going to cut this out i'll cut the front neckline then i'm going to um, separate the front from the back and proceed to i'll put a mark at that point so that once i remove the front i'll know um where to start from then i'll proceed to measuring it i'll still put the two up so i used it as the neck depth for the back then i'll just go ahead to cut that out so i'm just putting that sign there so that i'll be able to differentiate between the wrong side and the right side with ease without straining my eyes too much so moving over to the guard as that's the lower part of the dress the 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 waist is 20 the waist is 23 that's where the goddess is entering is 23 so i went ahead to do 23 multiplied by 6. this depends on how full you want the goddess to be but i'll be using um times six you can use four you can use five you can even use ten it depends on you then for the length the full length of this dress is 30 the half length the half length is already 11 and if you check the style very well this this um the gathers has like two layers like caribbean kind of so it's two layers the second layer is going to be seven inches long so i'm going to add that seven inches to the 11 that makes it 18 so from this full length i'm just going to go ahead to subtract 11 if i like i can subtract but if i don't want to stress my brain too much all i have to do is just to place 
the 18 inches up i call it make it invisible so i'll just go ahead to make the 18 inches invisible then i will mark my full length just like this so just make the 18 inches invisible so to speak and then go ahead to mark your full length so after marking my full length i added two inches allowance to the length i'll be using one and a half inch to fold it down then i'll be using half inch to join it to the waist then i'll proceed to cutting this out so to cut lining for this i'll be making the lining the same length as this because you're still going to be an extension of seven inches but i'll be making the strong net like two inches shorter than this so i'll be making the strong length 12 inches so this is the strong net and this is the lining i've gone ahead to cut them out and the lining is the exact length it's just that it's two in two yards i'll be using for the lining the strong net is two inches shorter than this so proceeding to cutting the second layer of the of the lower part of the dress you guys remember that for the upper part of the gathers i use the waist times times six for this lower part for this second layer i used the waist times nine so that it has to be excess for you to like go around the first um the first layer i i don't know if i'm making sense i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to say so guys the next thing i'll be doing now is to cut the strap that the sleeve will be attached to and to do that i'll go ahead to measure so that i'll know the exact length that is required then i'll put the two up remember we removed two from the half length when we were cutting so i'll just put the two up then i'll turn my tape over to the back let me switch this this same um, pieces to the back so that you can understand what i'm saying or let me just open it up so that you understand what i'm saying so i'll just measure like the way i'm measuring then i'll make it excess because you know we are going to be like tying it at the back so i'll just make it like 25 inches long i'll make it 25 inches long then i'll be cutting two for the two sides here we go and the width is three inches so i measured 27 by three and i cut two for the two sides so moving over to cutting the sleeve itself we are going to be cutting um a 90 degree fillet or let me say you fold your clothes on bias is is as good as saying a 90 degree fillet because this is how to fold a 90 degree fillet and the length is going to be four inches where is entering is actually 10 inches on that strap is entering 10 but you know there is a little bit of gathers on it so i'll be making it excess i'll be cutting 15 inches and the length is going to be four inches i'll be marking it like so just mark it the way i'm marking mine and then i'll go ahead to cut that out then i'll just proceed to cropping it i'll crop it because the sleeve is not the same length all through so towards the beginning and towards the end i'll crop it like it will be a little bit shorter than the the middle part and that's just it after cropping it this is what it looks like so for the half cut i'll cut the lining same measurement is just to place it on the lining and then trace it out it is as simple as that so moving over to the fabric that i'll be removing the trimmings from i'll just remove the trimmings just follow the pattern remove the trimmings cut as much as you want and it is that simple this trimmings is actually very very beautiful like i love the trimmings it's so nice it's so 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 nice so just bring out the quantity you need and then after bringing it out here they are the next is i'll join all of them into a single piece i'll join all of them into a single piece then this for the sleeve i'll fold it down after folding it down this is what i have then the next thing is to attach the tree mix on this sleeve so to do that i'm just going to pick up my tree mix and then i'll sew it on top of the sleeve that place where i folded i'll sew the tree mix on top from one side to the other so for this trap the next is i'm going to like sew the 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 sleeve inside this trap like 10 inches inside this trap i'll be skipping like two inches then from two inches i'll go ahead to sew my sleeve that 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 already has the trimmings on top of it i'll sew it inside that strap i'll do the same thing to the other one before turning it inside the shoulder let me do that then i'll bring it back for you guys to see so after sewing the strap inside 
sorry after sewing the sleeve inside the straight strap this is what i have is look i have something looking like this the next thing is to turn it inside the shoulder so i'm just going to like sew it down at that point like on the shoulder before i'm going ahead to turn it i'm just going to i can just pin it down at this point then cover it up with lining making sure the right side is like covering and the lining is facing the right side of the fabric then i'll turn turn the neckline turn the shoulder turn the armhole then turn the the sides so after that this is what i have this is what i have then i'll press it definitely after turning you go ahead to give it a very good press and this is what i have guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please if you've been with me up to this point please support me by subscribing let me know your thoughts in the comment comment section if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section don't forget to share my video amongst your soulmates and please give my video a thumbs up So guys, after arranging it like that, I'll go ahead to pick up my tape and I'll measure. Remember the half length is 11, we had it um, 1 inch allowance, then I'll just, let me flip it over so that you guys can see what I'm trying to say clearly. Then what I have, what, what, I, what I left up is 2, that means 2 for front, 2 for back. So from that strap, I'll be measuring 4. After measuring 4, anywhere from that point, I'll measure 4. Anywhere my four stops is where I will start sewing, sewing like is where I will start attaching that strap on the back from. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. So from that point, I'm going to flip it over. Then I will sew the rest on the back panel, leaving the zip allowance. So it's not going to get to the zip allowance. So I'm just going to sew from that point. I can pin it down before taking it to my sewing machine so that it doesn't shift. So I'll sew from that point to, I'll stop at two inches to the end of the fabric. That's like, I'm not going to sew it on the zip allowance. So I'll do that to the two sides. Then I'll bring you back and show you guys what I have. So after doing that, this is what I have. I've gone ahead to attach the strap to the both sides. Then the next is shaping. So to shape this now, I'll flip this over to the wrong side. You know, we have to shape on the wrong side. I'll arrange it properly, making sure that the zip allowance is either lying on each other or facing each other. So I'll just go ahead to arrange make sure my arrangement is perfect after properly arranging guys i'll divide our waist by four so 24 divided by four i'll mark whatever it gives me sorry a bust 24 divided by four I'll mark whatever it gives me then our waist divided by four 23 divided by four i'll mark whatever it gives me then i'll go ahead to connect my point together i'll do the same thing to the other side then after shaping here it is so guys for the lower part of this dress that's for the gathers i've gone ahead to gather the to the waist measurement i gathered it to the waist measurement plus zip allowance then i've i've attached it down to to it so this is already set then i've gone ahead to gather the lining i also gathered the strong net and the next thing now is to attach my trim mix so to attach my trim mix i'll just sew the trim mix on the parts where i joined the two layers together from one side of it to the other side it is that simple then after then i'll proceed to i'll put a notch at the middle of the half length i'll put a notch at the middle of the gathered fabric then i'll face the notch to the other making sure that the right side of the two pieces are facing each other like right side has to be facing right side after then i'll proceed to pinning it down then i'll sew it on top of the half length from one point to the other like from the left to the right or from the right to the left i'll just attach it to it then i'll attach the strong net on it to then 
after then this is what i have at this point i've attached my gathers to my half length i've attached my strong net the next thing now is to cover it up with my lining like this is what i have at this point it's already looking like a ball dress and it is full enough like it's full so to attach my lining to this now you know i'll be using the lining to cover up the joining so i'll flip it over then i'll pick up my lining i'll face it on i'll face it on the half length like just look at what i'm doing is that simple i'm not going to face it the way i faced the strong net and the guard has when i wanted to join it i'll face it to the opposite direction so that it can cover up the stitches i'll put a notch at the middle then there's a notch at the middle of the half length already so i'll be facing the notch on each other i'll pin it down then i'll sew from left to right or from right to left however convenient i'll just sew from one point to the other then i'll bring it back for you guys to see so after sewing my lining to my dress this is what i have it has covered up the joining like this is what it's looking like it's looking neat and that is it then i went ahead to use bias to pipe the tip of the strong neck so that it doesn't fray or start pulling out or um then the next is to attach zip to attach zip to this dress i'm going to properly arrange the arrange the dress i'll make sure that the half length is on the same length like the two sides are on the same length one side will not be up one side will not be down because if it's like that after after fixing my zip my zip will not it will not be neat so one side will be a little bit higher than the other so i'll just arrange it properly then i'll figure out the length like i'll figure out where i want my zip to stop and from that point i'll sew it down so after sewing it down this is what i have at this point the next is to turn turn the zip allowance so to turn the zip allowance just flip your lining to the right side let the lining face the right side then you you pick up just one side at a time don't let the other side get in the way so just use your hand to like shift the other side down and then sew sew the lining one side at a time just as as simple as what i'm i'm saying like what i'm saying is as simple as what i'm doing <laughs> i don't know if you guys get so i'll fix the zip i'll fold it down then i'll bring it back and show you guys what it's looking like so guys after all being said and done this is the dress please don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video